Today I'm going to give away the lens that took these pictures, plus two others. Well, hello there. Today we're going to talk about three interesting APS-C lenses. I'm going to show you samples that I took with them, and then I'm going to give them away. And before you jump to that part of the video, I want you to get to know the lenses to make sure it's really what you want, because they're kind of interesting. Uh, these are Sony E-mount lenses, and they're APS-C, so they work with any uh, 6000 series. I'm using a 6300 right now. They will actually work on full-frame cameras, and I have done so, and I'll show you some samples in a minute that I've done with that. You just have to switch your full frame camera to APS-C mode and then you can just take pictures as normal with these things. The reason I like APS-C lenses so much is because they're smaller than the full frame lenses and uh, when you have smaller and more lightweight cameras like the 6300, it's <clears throat> so much lighter and smaller than the full frames. All right, let's start with the wide angles first. These two uh, wide angle lenses, they are so heavy. They weigh like a solid chunk of steel. I've never felt lenses so heavy before in my life. There is definitely no plastic in these lenses other than the lens caps. Uh, so let's start with the um, Medicon Zhangi Speedmaster 35 millimeter, get this, F0.95. This is less than F1. We got some serious bokeh happening with this thing. This is the Mark II lens, so it's better than the Mark I. It's a manual focus and it goes for $500. And the reason it's so, I guess, some of you expensive is because it's actually a really good lens. It, it's heavy as hell, solid steel and glass. It's not very big. It's the right size for an APS-C camera, but this lens is like four times heavier than the camera itself. That lens is seriously heavy. I mean, this is a weapon, but 0.95, that is quite an F. So, so let me show you some sample shots I took with this. All right, this is the Zhangi 35 millimeter at f0.95. Uh, and this is what it looks like. I have to use an HDI, HDMI monitor just to see, because I go back or forward just a little bit, it goes out of focus. So I got to make sure I'm just right in here. So this is what it looks like. And this is at f2. Should be a little bit more uh, sharper and focus, but this is a 35 Zhangi. At F2. Now this is a manual lens. This is not an autofocus lens. I mean, what do you expect for that size and price and everything, but uh, F0.95. So this is $500 if you want to buy it new. I'm going to put it up for running in the giveaway in a moment. So that's the Miticon Zhangi Speedmaster 35mm 0.95 Mark II lens for Sony E-mount. All right, moving on to the next one. The Camlan or Comlon, however you say it. This is a 28 millimeter f1.4. It's also a nice APS-C size lens, but again, this one is also very heavy. They actually don't make this one anymore. You can't really buy it new, I don't, unless you really, really look around. I've used this one maybe once. <laughs> so this is a new lens as far as I'm concerned. When these came out, they did sell for around $200. This is a 28 millimeter F1.4 E-mount manual focus lens. And here's some examples I took with it. So this is the Camland Comlon 28 millimeter at F1.4. This is wide open. Not bad. Yep. So again, this is the Camlan Comlon F1.4 Sony E-mount manual lens. I like the yellow ring. It's very attractive. It's very heavy. Very, very heavy. Um, comes with a nice uh, steel uh, lens shade on the front. So that's the Camlan Comlon, whatever. And I've got the boxes. Brand new. Now we get to the telephoto zoom lens. This is a 55 to 210. This thing, now these things being really heavy are the exact opposite of this one. When I have two of these, I'm giving two of these away. This lens is so lightweight, 
This is the thing I like about this. Most telephoto zoom lenses, especially, you know, ones like this that are used for wildlife, they're like this big and they're super heavy and they're not fun to carry around. This is one of the most fun lenses ever to carry around because it's so lightweight. If you're into having a lightweight kit for going out and taking pictures of wildlife, birds, whatever, this is a great setup to have. An A6000, this is a 6300, anything like that. With this lens, it is so lightweight and so small as I guess as telephotos go. The 55 to 210 is the equivalent of full frame of 85 to 315 millimeter. Now the f-stop is f4.5 to 6.3, so you're not gonna get a blurry background until you start getting around 100 millimeter, and then beyond that, uh, you actually can get some pretty decent shots with the blurry background. Okay, this is 55 millimeter. This is the starting point. This is 100 millimeter. This is where it starts to look kind of cinematic, kind of blurry background. All right, this is what it looks like at 135 millimeter. Kind of cinematic. So this should be kind of cool. Uh, really close in, 210 millimeter uh, uh, telephoto shot without a focus background. Very cinematic, I'd say. Mm -hmm. It is an OSS lens, optical steady shot. This is a stabilized lens. So that's really cool considering how lightweight and small it is. Here it is handheld at maximum zoom. The stabilization is pretty steady considering it's on a 6300. This is a great lens for birds and bugs and lizards and flowers and stuff you find out in nature. What makes it a real pleasure to use is it's so lightweight so you can just carry it around all day no problem. Because it weighs nothing. Look at this, it takes great pictures and video. It's a real pleasure to use. Now a lot of people don't take this lens seriously. They think it's a crappy consumer lens. <laughs> Again, it's not the equipment, it's the photographer. What I'm about to show you was taken with this lens. I went to Death Valley last year. I used this lens, put it on a full frame camera, and I took some really cool high-end pictures with this lens. So enjoy this video. So that was taken with this little $300 consumer lens, the uh, 55 to 210, 4.5 to 6.3 optical steady shot lens. Um, I, that's how long it is when it's extended. It weighs almost nothing. This thing is so lightweight, it's amazing. I love this lens on my 
6300. It's what a lightweight joy to have. So I've got two of these. This one's a little dented up, but it still works perfectly. Uh, I've got the boxes for everything. So the way you get in the running for these, make sure you pick the one you want. This one is autofocus. This one here, the telephoto zoom is autofocus, the 55 to 210. The two wide angles are manual focus. They're really, really heavy. That makes them not fun to have because they're so heavy, but they take pretty darn good. I mean, if you want blurry backgrounds, these things are great. If you want lightweight and you want to be able to do some bird photography or nature photography, this thing is really lightweight, takes great long distance shots, and it doesn't weigh much. Um, pick the one you want. Go to marcuspicks.giveawayenter.com. That's Marcus Picks with a K. Uh, and pick the one you want. You can only pick one. And uh, I'll pick the winner in the next week or so. And again, be wary of the, uh, the, the scumbag scammers who claim to be me. Do not think that anybody who has puts a comment under somebody's comment that looks like it's my profile picture and it looks like it says Marcus Picks and says, contact me privately via Telegram or WhatsApp or anything. I do not tell people ever to contact me. Uh, the only way to win something is to enter the way I tell you in a video and I will pick the winners in a public video. I never contact people and I never want people to contact me. So be wary of the scammers who leave comments saying, acting like they're me and telling you to contact them. That's not me. So only on these official videos do I give stuff away and uh, try to share the joy of photography with people like you who enjoy photography. So, i uh, got four lenses to give away this week. And I hope uh, they get to people that will enjoy these. Again, this is Sony E-mount. You can put them on full-frame cameras if you put it in an APS-C mode, but they're really made for APS-C cameras like the 6000 series or the 5100 or anything like that. Um, that's about it. So, um, Hope you uh, got something out of this, even if you're not in the running for it. Fortunately, I cannot ship internationally. We've already been through all that. But I gave you samples of it. You can buy these new, except for the Camland. They don't make that one anymore. Maybe on eBay you can get it. So try to educate you as to what's out there. Uh, APS-C is a nice, small, lightweight format. It's not as big and heavy as the full frame. That's it. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, until then, have a good week. See ya. Bye.